and wait, more choices. <laughs> Turn into a vampire. <laughs> I love city living, but also pets. Yeah, seasons. <gasps> Remember in seasons when you could like build snowmen? Wasn't that fun? Part of me says generations, but I loved university. Generations was a lot of fun too. So I see a lot of you guys played a lot of Sims 3. Cars? <laughs> I, you know what, Lord Dude Bro, one of the things I really enjoyed from Cars was teaching your teen to drive. Remember that? And how tense your sim would get? We're gonna pause it right when he takes a bite. Oh, wait! I pushed the escape button. <laughs> Unicorn, thank you so much for the host, my friend. I really appreciate it. That's very sweet of you. Can you imagine if they do a Sims 4 university? Okay, if you could only pick one Sims 3 pack that would be converted to Sims 4. If you only pick one, what would you pick? If EA and The Sims came to you, they're like, we can only pick one, what do you want? What would you pick? What would be the one pack where you're like, make this and do it now? You're missing seasons? You know what, I'm really happy that we have festivals back. And it's like, it's like we have our own it's like a twist on festivals. I'm really happy about it. Pets, pets, pets. Okay, if you could pick one pet that you could have brought to you in The Sims 4, The Sims 4 comes to you and they're like, we don't know what to do. What type of pet? We can only have one pet. You can have a dolphin, you can have a giraffe, you can have a cat, a dog, a goldfish. What pet would you pick? Seasons is a close runner up, right? Dogs? Well, we have toddlers now. <laughs> A horse! I remember horses. Remember the stalls that you could make? Okay, so I'm seeing dogs and cats. Horses, pigs would be cool. A koala. Oh, yeah. Giraffe. <laughs> okay, so we've done pretty good on uh, doing some changing of some sims. Look how upset he is. He's so upset that we've bitten him. I'm a potato is here. How are you? I'm so happy to see you. Dragons. What? Can you imagine? <coughs> oh, excuse me. If we had dragons and they flew? <laughs> I remember one time I was playing World of Warcraft. I used to be heavy into World of Warcraft. And uh, when Cataclysm came out, I was with my guild and we were running across. I can't remember where we are. And it got really dark. I'm like, what the heck? And the big, huge dragon flew over us. It panicked us all. So every time I see dragons in video games, I think of that moment in World of Warcraft where I peed myself because a dragon flew over my head. <laughs> Horses won't be with cats or dog. You know, I think you're probably right about that one. A dragon. Hunters, yeah, I am a, I'm a horde. Horde for life. Horde. Ah, oh, love horde. I've had friends that were on the Alliance, I'm like, I can't be friends with you. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Are you I was a mage. Uh, I was a paper mage. What does she want to do? She wants to become flirty. <gasps> Find a horde! Munter Bacon, I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> and Munter Bacon, because you're a top tier sub, we get to play a video game together. <laughs> okay, so Malcolm is here. So let's take a vote. Malcolm or... Looks like it's just going to be Malcolm. <laughs> Since Malcolm is the only land grab that is home, welcome Margaret! Oh, Furby! Yay! Thank you guys for the follow. I truly hope you guys enjoy your stay here. We have an amazing family here. <laughs> Silveria, I love seeing you here. I had fun hanging out with you yesterday and like other streams that was fun for the horde so much horde deathwing so you totally know what i was talking about i was like no one's gonna know what i mean by if i say deathwing but so would know right he flew right over us and i'm like why the heck is it so dark we're in the middle of a desert in the middle of nowhere and it got really dark we all panicked it was hilarious cosmic princess oh my gosh i have to show you something i hope it'll pop up Yay! <laughs> Cosmic Princess, thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. You have no idea. 
I wanted to make sure that you saw that and I know I sent you a message as well. I hope it's okay that I put that up there and made that happen. Thank you for your support. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Deathwing, terrifying. <laughs> Stormwind, look at us WoW nerds coming out. We're like, I play WoW. <laughs> you were a raider? Oh, man, WoW. I used to go to my college classes and come home and do reads with my guild. I love my guild. You're very welcome, Cosmic. I I am I really appreciate it. It was very sweet of you when I saw that pop up. So Malcolm is the only land grab that is home. So we're gonna grab this land grab for a little bit of a bite. We're gonna turn him into a vampire. Ritten Fay! You missed everything! You really did though. We bit okay guys, let's tell Ritten Fay what she missed. We bit oh wait, it's pause. No, it's not. We bit Don Lothario. Uh, Nina Caliente, um, Johnny Zest. You guys, who else have we bitten here? Margaret! Yay, Nancy! Thank you, you guys, for your follows. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy your stay here with us. Uh, no, we really want to bite him. <laughs> I promise that we do. It's part of the challenge. Put your cereal bowl down, my friend. We're gonna bite you. <laughs> Rory almost cried. Yeah, Written Faye knows I get I'm an emotional person. Written Faye will mail me things and I cry. I send her Snapchats of me crying. She sent me a Rory Gilmore doll. She sent me Suki and Lorelai as well, and I cried. She sent me the entire set of True Blood. I cry. <laughs> I cry a lot. I'm a very emotional. I'm a cancer. I'm a cancer. I'm a July baby. I cry a lot. Did I miss it? I wasn't even paying attention. 17 years of Sims, right? 100% of all of my Sims play is WoW in years of the storm based. I love it! Do you have Sims that you've created that were characters from World of Warcraft? You're a bit of a blizzard. Are you going to BlizzCon? I, um, I have been saving like crazy because I want to go to TwitchCon. So my goal this year, you guys, is to get partnered with Twitch. This will happen. We will we will get there. <laughs> I want to be partnered with Twitch, and I want to go to TwitchCon, so it's okay. We're going to get emotional. Yeah, but that's, here's the difference. I cry in front of you guys. <laughs> Why are vampires bad at self-improvement? Because they can't reflect on their mistakes. Oh no, is it daytime? You guys, it's almost daytime. We've got to go home. There's like three more seasons to slowly film <laughs> you. mean there's more tears? You know what, Written Fate, if you're going to continue to send me packages, could you send me tissues as well? Because I cry at the post office every time. And people look at me like, why are you crying? <laughs> oh no, he's walking away from us. Don't leave us. So should we wait until more of his family members come home? I mean, as of right now, we're done with Oasis Springs. We've completed this part of the challenge. Um, yes, they should be on the gallery. Really? I will be at BlizzCon so I get- That's right, we were talking about that. <clears throat> I really want to, um, go to TwitchCon. I've never been to a con. The only video game thing that I've been to was at EA last year, and that was a lot of fun. I met some amazing people. Run, Bella, run. You add a bo <laughs> box of- <gasps> Look, they're home! Should we bite them too and make them a whole set of vampire family people? How freaked would you guys be if you came home from wherever you were and you saw a vampire in your... I don't think I would be freaked. If you guys came home from your, like, evening out, they're coming home at 2.30 in the morning, would you guys be freaked if there was a vampire in your home? I wouldn't be freaked. I'd be like, hey, do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> Nom them. Crying in front of us is like crying in front of your family. It really is. You guys are my family. Um, some of you guys I've known for years, like Written Faye I've known for years. Munter ba Bacon I've known for a couple of years as well. Um, and you would poop your pants? What do you mean you would poop your pants? It's just a vampire. Would you guys freak out if a vampire tries to bite you? <laughs> would you guys want to be a vampire in real life? I think I would do it. I think I would. If they gave me a choice, they're like, do you want to? I'd be like, you have to change my husband too because I wouldn't want to be alone. I mean, he might drive me nuts, but <laughs> I adore him. <laughs> Blood pee. Yes, right? Come on over. <laughs> you would love to be a vampire? You'd probably invite it. <laughs> Throw his holy water. Lord Dubro, you would. I would tell the vampire to let me go on a diet first. 
Oh, you know, I would do that too. I would do that too. I read too many vampires. It'd be cool to read it till it was too late. I mean, when they do the change into a vampire, or when you've watched like vampire movies, it looks really uncomfortable and painful. Okay, I have another question for you. If you were to be a vampire, would you be a vegetarian or would you eat people? <laughs> it's just gotten sick. <laughs> this has just gotten sick. Would you continue? Would you eat animals or would you eat people? What would you do? What would you do? Day without Rory is a day without sunshine. <laughs> oh, Mo, you are so sweet. That is very sweet of you to say. Heck yes, I would read all the books. It would be interesting to be a savage. See, I don't know what I'd do because I'm a vegetarian. I, I would probably starve to death. <laughs> you would eat people, eat people. You would eat mean people, Margaret. I like that. I think I would feel guilty if I had to eat people, though. People obviously gotta keep up the strength. Animals! I don't know. I kind of like the idea of eating mean people. I kind of like the idea of that. Um, how could you be a vegetarian vampire? I don't know how I'm a vegetarian being a human. <laughs> no, nah, you would drink true blood. You could eat blood oranges. There you go. Amazing. I would do that. We would eat. Let's share vampire knowledge with Nancy Landgrab. She might need a little bit of help. And share uh, knowledge with him as well. Dexter the Vampire? Right, T? Can you imagine? I've been doing a lot of research on vampires, and I hear there's a way to cure it. How crazy is that? Oh, I want to test it. So I was watching Andrew Arcade um, do some vampire gameplay, and he had the vampire cure drink, and he threw it in the face of a vampire, and he said it cured the vampire. So I kind of want to test that. Apparently, the vampire doesn't want to consume the plasma of a sim. Look right here. They can consume plasma fruit and plasma packs. I would do that. I would do the packs and fruit. I love fruit anyways. I'm thinking I would be such a morally conflicted vampire. Right? But you know what? You could have plasma fruit or plasma packs. You can drink plasma Capri Suns and plasma fruit. <laughs> can we vote for having a horror moment <laughs> donors? I mean, come on. <laughs> that would be hilarious, right? We would just drink a song. Exactly! A Capri Sun! Okay, so I think we should go home. We've done really well. We have changed Oasis Springs. And it is daylight. So let's go back to Forgotten Hollow and work on our aspiration. Just a little bit. Blood from a box. Yes! Totally normal. You love Capri Suns? Carrot, do they still make them? Like in the old school, like... I almost said aluminum, but that's not what I mean. Adol! Thank you so much for the follow! I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your stay here with us. I love that you have the word cat in your name, because I am quite the cat lady. You know what? We need to practice our organ skill, so if you could scoot over. Theme. Help! I'm not alive! <laughs> We're gonna play that song. You know what I wish? I wish Capri Suns would come in like the jugs, like the jug of juice. I would take that jug with me. What is your favorite flavor of Capri Sun? I used to love the kiwi strawberry. The silver foil, yes! UK, yay! Thank you for the host. I really appreciate it. They still make Capri Suns. Are they still really hard to stab? I mean, come on. How many of you guys would be frustrated little eight-year-old kids stabbing those containers? They still make them? You still get them? <gasps> a jug is a funny word. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor and Blue. Thank you guys for your follow. I hope you enjoy your stay here with us. We're an amazing family here. You guys welcome all of the new people. Let's give some hugs. <laughs> I cannot spell today. Yay! Welcome, new followers. We're happy to have you here. Nope, you need to continue theme the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Part of the challenge is that you get to um, level 10 of the pipe organ school. Oh, we're so far away from it. Yeah, we got it raided. UK, thank you for the raid. Hi, Simmer Pete. I saw you pop up in there. <laughs> Hugs, yay. They're still horrible with a stab. 
UK, thank you so much for the raid, my friend. How is your stream today? What did you play? Sup, raiders? Yay! <laughs> yes, hugs to everyone. Welcome to all of our new family members. Dina, Simmer Girl, welcome to our family. Big hugs to everyone. You're welcome, sweetie. I love you too. Ellie! Hello! No, you're coming back here. You have to play more. Cinema! <gasps> Sympathy for the Deviant. Yay, big hugs to everyone. Welcome, everybody. Where is she going? Where did you go? Where? Where? Oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> Dina, that was for you. <laughs> Welcome to our family. I hope you enjoy her. There are regular plasma recipes. Yes, Simmer. So if you don't want to nom on people, you can totally nom on fruit or plasma packs. <laughs> And wait, more choices. <laughs> Turn into a vampire. <laughs> I love city living, but also pets. Yeah, season. It's like we have our own. It's like a twist on festivals. I'm really happy about it. Pets, pets, pets. Okay, if you could pick one pet that you could have brought to you in The Sims 4, The Sims 4 comes to you and they're like, we don't know what to do. What type of pet? We can only have one pet. You can have a dolphin, you can have a giraffe, you can have... <gasps> Remember in seasons when you could like build snowmen? Wasn't that fun? Part of me says generations, but I loved university. Generations was a lot of fun too. So I see a lot of you guys played a lot of Sims 3. Cars? <laughs> I, you know what, Lord Dude Bro, one of the things I really enjoyed from Cars was teaching your teen to drive that would be converted to Sims 4. You only pick one, what would you pick? If EA and The Sims came to you, they're like, we can only pick one, what do you want? What would you pick? What would be the one pack where you're like, make this and do it now? You're missing seasons? You know what, I'm really happy that we have festivals back. And it's like, remember that and how tense your Sim would get? We're gonna pause it right when he takes a bite. Oh wait, I pushed the escape button. <laughs> Unicorn, thank you so much for the host, my friend. I really appreciate it. That's very sweet of you. Can you imagine if they do a Sims 4 university? Okay, if you could only pick one Sims 3 pack.